so what's up guys so um i i was out um actually i just left the uh, barber shop and i was um spotted a uh what seemed to be a vacant property and actually it was vacant so um i just decided to pull out the camera and record this um this is live on the spot um Um, and um, I pulled over and I skip traced. Uh, first pulled the uh, property up in um, deal machine and seeing that the property was in pre foreclosure. So I skip traced it um, right in the app of deal machine and um, seen, um, um, got the information and tried to reach out to the homeowner. Um, I didn't get through, through guys know what we talk about all the time when you're doing onesie, twosie, um, skip traces. Um, I normally use a Ben Verified, B-E-E-N-V-E-R-F-I-E-D.com. Um, but I have the app as well. So, um, I pulled up the app and, uh, pulled up the seller and, um, when I pulled it up, it showed that she was deceased. Now, my next step was, and this was all on the spot, maybe about five minutes ago. So then after that, what I did was um, I uh, noticed that she had two addresses in two different counties. So what I did was contacted the surrogate office um, to see if there was a probate file for, um, for the uh, seller. Um, one, um, I reached out to one um, surrogate office in one county um, and then I reached out to the other here in Mercer County um, and found out that the Mercer County um, probate court had her file. Um, and they, right over the phone, gave me, I have a contact there, so um, that's one key thing. Make sure you build relationships with all of your government officials or your local um, county that you're working. Uh, build relationships with those, um, those departments. But anyways, um, he was able to provide me the executor, the executrix, I can't even talk this morning, um, or the executor of the estate, which was her daughter. Um, he didn't have a contact number for her, but he did have an address for her. So what we're about to do right now is go door knock. I tried to reach out to her um, and I could not reach out to her via um, the contacts or the numbers that we provided. We were provided via uh, Ben Verify. So here we go, we're about to walk up to the property, door knock. This is what you gotta do. Doesn't look like anyone's home right now, but we'll see. Yeah, I think someone's sitting at the table, so. Good morning. How you doing? Sorry to bother you. That's all right. Um, my name is uh, Brandon Israel. Um, are you John, by the way? Yes. Um, I'm a local. I'm sorry to show up at your doorstep, <laughs> but um, I'm a local investor, and I was looking for a family member of yours, Patricia's, um, yes, Copax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I understand, and my condolences. Um, but I was reaching out to you guys about the properties 
in Trenton okay. and wanted to see if you guys were looking to possibly sell the property. I've been trying to get in contact with you guys forever. Okay. Um, but um, were you guys looking to sell the property or get rid of it? Or... I have to talk to her and see what her, what her plans are. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, was it, who's the, is it? My, my mother-in-law was the one who passed away. Oh, okay. Her daughter is the executor. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, well, yeah, if you can, if you just pass my number on to her, um, we're definitely interested. We okay. normally make the process very simple and easy. Um, we buy the property as is. Okay. Um, and as you see, my, my office, I have an office in Trenton. Okay. So just reach out to me. Right. Um, is it all right if I touch base with you guys? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a good number that I can reach her or you guys? Um, I'll reach out to you. Okay. And then, then you'll have my number. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. When when should I hear back from you guys? To me, I'll, I'll talk to her tonight and see what she wants to do. All right, John, appreciate it. No problem. All right, brother, you have a great day. Yes, sir. Bye bye. So there you have it. So listen, guys, taking initiative and um, taking a bull by the horns, as they say, and just going and getting things done, you, you it it pays off. So literally, this all happened within forty five minutes. Located a property, skip traced them, did some due, um, due, some due diligence, some uh, research, found that the uh, property owner had passed away, figured out uh, what county the, um, the probate record or the, the file was uh, with, found out who the executor of the estate was, got their address, and went and door knocked. Now, as you guys just heard, we talked to the husband, um, of the wife, which was the daughter of the the, uh, the the owner. So left them our card and um, we'll hopefully be hearing from them soon. If not, I'll give them a couple of days and I'll try to reach back out to them again. Um, so listen, this is how you get things done. If you are um, sitting on the sideline waiting for things to come to you, not gonna happen. In this business, you have to be a go-getter and um, take things into your hands and see what you can get done, all right? So we're gonna keep you guys updated on this file, on this um, deal, and we'll go from there, all right? Talk to you guys soon. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention is, um, as you all heard in the, um, the uh, footage that I um, told the, um, the son-in-law, um, John, that um, I was interested in two of the properties, the two properties that they had in Trenton. So normally what I do is when we are driving for dollars and we find a property in a vacant property, um, I normally go to the county assessor's website and put in the seller's last name. Um, here in um, New Jersey, our county, you can search uh, property records. So what I normally do is go in and put in the seller's last name to see if they own any other properties in the um, in the area or in that um, in that county, and that's exactly what I did. Um, and noticed that they own she owned two properties. So that's another tip: take the extra step because you want to look informed. You want to when you speak to whoever you touch base with, you want to look informed. So what we're gonna do? I'm actually gonna take you guys by the. Um, by the properties. Um, I hadn't even looked at the um, the second property uh, before I just jumped in a truck and um, went right over to the um, to the property to um, to door knock. So um, I don't even know what the other property looked like. Uh, but I'm going to take you over to the uh, second property. Well, actually, both of them, so you guys can um, see and I can show you guys what the telltale signs were um, to me um, on the first property. What made me. Um, First look at it to see if that it was vacant all right so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to show you guys the property when I went to the first property um, there's a, a school literally across the street and looked like they were letting the uh, the children out for school so um, buses and cars were blocking the property and then when I went over to the second uh, property I pulled up and it looked like the uh, the house was had been or it had been uh, remodeled already or rehabbed already so I looked into it a little further and it looks like that property, they had sold that property. So it looks like um, the decedent 
only has that one last property left that is currently in pre foreclosure. So um, I'll keep you guys updated um, on the uh, progress of this deal um, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, take it easy. Oh, and if you guys um, are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification button to be notified uh, when we upload new videos. Um, I see a lot of you guys are um, checking us out, checking the videos out and the content out, but um, are not subscribing. So do me a favor. Let's kind of jack up that uh, YouTube algorithm and uh, get this thing done. All right. We'll talk to you guys.